Hey YouTube, just want to come to you real quick with another video of uh, survival, if you will, video. Uh, this inspiration that comes from this video is from Two Brothers Adventures who built a camp shower. Now the only thing that I would modify on this camp shower is the ability to, for, would they have a wand. Now theirs is a, is an affixed device, it's like a shower head, uh, but I want to be able to hang this and then be able to utilize this wand uh, on other extremities and stuff, especially you ladies out there. Okay, so what I have here is I have a parts list for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and we'll move forward from there. Okay, so first you're going to need a five gallon bucket. You're going to need to buy you an RV shower head and that comes with the, the hose and stuff. Okay, then you're going to need to uh, be able to drill a hole in the bucket. So you're going to have to have this fitting here, which is three quarters outer di diameter, half inch inner diameter. That's the key, inner diameter. Okay, then I'm going to need a half inch inner diameter, okay, then fitting with also about a small piece of PVC, half inch, that I will attach to this. And then I have also a half inch ball valve here that I can turn it and I can shut off the water while I'm taking a shower. Okay, and then of course another piece, additional fitting for that. And then one more half inch and half inch fitting with the screw in half inch on this end. So this is smooth and this is has the uh, ability to, to screw into there, okay? So that's half inch. But what the purpose of this is, is so that I can screw in my, my half inch uh, shower into this, okay? So that's gonna connect all of these parts together, if you get a close in. So I'll connect these parts in together here, all right? So hang on one second, I'll be right back, and we'll, we'll assemble this. Okay, now, what we've done here is that We've taken our piece here and we've we basically we've outlined the size of the hole that we're going to put on here by unscrewing this this now this reverse threads so I set it on there my piece on there then I use a magic marker and I outlined that and then I drilled a hole in there and then I just kind of cut it out with uh, a reciprocating saw or whatever you can do not a reciprocating saw but a jigsaw sorry jigsaw all right so when I take that now now I'm going to take my piece we're going to assemble this. I'm going to take my piece here and I'm going to place it into the bucket. You want it to fit kind of tight like that. Now, I have to remember it's a reverse thread, so we're going to get this started. Okay, so we've got that set now. Get that tightened up in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my half inch threaded piece into here. So I'll screw that in. Just like so. Alright, now what I did on these, I just kind of eyeballed it. This is about two, two and a half inches of the half inch PVC pipe. Okay, and I'm going to just place it in there. Now I didn't glue this because I want to be able to break it down and I want to be able to transport it easier so I can put all the components here in the bucket. Okay, now I'm going to put add my ball valve to it. I'm going to add my other piece of PVC pipe that I have. And then my piece with my threaded, inner threaded half inch size and smooth on this end. I'm going to place that in there. Now one additional piece that I did not mention prior to, earlier, is I have the half inch threaded here with a hose connector piece here. As you can see it's ribbed inside there. So this, you don't need a kind of fitting on it or anything like that. This is plenty, plenty strong for this. Now, what I'll do, instead of twisting the bucket and everything else, I'll screw this onto here first. Now, once I've got that on there, now I'll just replace this back onto the bucket. Okay? Now, I'm going to just press in. I'm just going to make sure all these are, are tight. Now, I'm going to set this, stand this up. So now I can hold this up. And I can use this handle here with the bungee cord and I can attach this up to a tree limb or like if you have a awning or something outside that you want to do so you can have now you're going to have this elevated okay here with all this contraption on it now one of the great things in too here if you'll come closer is that I see I can take this and I can undo this and I can close this ball valve up Okay, now I can fill it with water. I can 
can set this down here and I can sit on the edge of a table. And now what I can do is because these buckets are a lot more tolerable than one of those solar shower bags that, that we talk about is that I could pour the boiling water directly into this. Okay. So I could pour two gallons of boiling water, let's say, and then I can fill this all the way up to the top with cold water. Okay, mix it in here with my hand and that's gonna give me a great thing. And then I can hang it up, at that point I can hang it up, and then I can come along and I can reinstall my shower attachment to it. And then I can use that liberally, okay? Guys, hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Remember, remember to uh, subscribe and click that little box for the, for the, for the next video, all right? Thank you for Estes Ranch.